Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I love you guys so much. My name is Nurazi Koli Martin and um, I delayed like to put this video on YouTube because I had actually recorded another video that I wanted to share with you guys but then I decided to change it last minute because this was supposed to come out on Friday but now it's coming out today. I changed it last minute and I thought this video would be more important and more useful during a time like this and now what i want to share with you guys is about my collaboration deals most people ask me a lot how do you land your collaborations uh how do you pitch brands to collaborate with you as a brand as a as an influencer because i'm a nano influencer i have like um 4000 subscribers on my not no not subscribers sorry i have like 4000 um I have like 4,000 followers on my my Instagram and then I have like 700 on my Twitter and then I have like 300 here on uh, YouTube so when you combine all those together I think I have like 5,000 something and uh, that's a very small number but I get loads and loads and loads of companies emailing me every single week every single day requesting for a collaboration and I want to share with you guys out there who are micro influencers who are nano influencers who would love to collaborate with brands that I collaborate with uh, first of all, I want to tell you guys one thing. Um, there is a rise of everybody wanting to be an influencer. Everybody's on Instagram, everybody's on all these social media platforms. And for some reason, everybody just wants to grow a following. Now, guys, I want to tell you something. Don't buy followers, don't uh, do all these other things or follow and follow stuff. Just grow your following organically, just grow it authentically. And this is the healthiest way to learn collaborations. Because once someone wants to collaborate, you have to check your account's details. And if they check and you're having this influx of like weird growth of like followers or subscribers or something, they're gonna have to drop that collaboration. So please grow authentically. No one is pressurizing you to do anything. Please go. I know like. I know the feeling of like wanting to be to a thousand sub to a thousand followers then tomorrow you want to wake up at five thousand then you want to go to ten thousand then to a million and i want to tell you something that micro influencers are on the rise but that i've actually have from like five thousand sub five thousand followers or subscribers to like ten thousand people want such kind of influencers because they have the highest engagement i want to give you an example kim kardashian has an engagement of like 1.5 percent and she's one of the most followed celebrities on social media but then a micro and micro influencer like me was only like five thousand wide subscribers or followers has an engagement of over 2.5 percent which means i have an i have an engagement with my followers which is higher than hers which means my followers are more likely to do more purchases than hers so micro influencers are on the rise so if you know you have little followers and you're like weird and you're like scared like should i buy followers should i buy comment should i buy this please don't um this video is gonna help you guys to learn how to collaborate in the next screen record that you guys are gonna see i'm gonna be showing you guys how to look for companies looking for micro influencers so um guys the first thing you're gonna have to do is go into your instagram and then um check into the people you're following now i do follow a lot of people i do fo i follow 188 people and i'm gonna go and check on the caption hash ad hash ad because i'm trying to figure out what people what brands are collaborating with people now there are two million posts that have that hashtag so i'm gonna click on that and then check it out now one thing that you should actually know and realize is that um most of the people that are actually influencers are actually ladies or are actually women and the influencer marketing strategy is actually women um led or it's actually mostly women out of all like the 12 million um, people that are actually doing these sponsored posts most of them are women but and if you know you are a woman or a lady and you actually want to know what brands are working with influencers just click on the hashtag hash ad and come and check out like this lady Mona, um, shout out to you. I actually don't see what she's advertising. Let me go to another one. This one. This one is actually advertising a cloth by Pretty Little Thing. Then actually, you go and actually check her out. You go and check out her page. She has 13k um followers or something like that. So if you know you have 13k followers, you know that you can actually work with a brand like Pretty Little Thing that actually worked with her. Yet it has 12 million. So that's how you do. You go keeping on checking. I saw a guy right down here. Let me check out his thing. I think his is um this. Oh, this is just a brand. He's promoting a brand. Um, just go and check out on these various various posts and check for brands that are actually using people with the less followers. I think she has very little followers because she's getting something like um a hundred likes. Yeah, sure, great. Ah, 
this is one blogger or influencer called Wenyi Tuong, I think. I don't know, I'm sorry for the wrong pronunciation, but she's from London. She has very good pictures. And um, she has 1,000 followers, 1,300 1, followers. And this is a sponsored post from something like, um, from some brand. So it's actually a cloth and the link is in her bio so you can actually work with you can actually look for the brands that are using her in their collaborations and actually use them since you're also with such a small following as hers okay so now that you've actually got a company that's going to work with you as an influencer or you've actually got a company that you actually want to work with you're gonna have to make a media kit but guys let me first tell you something like a disclaimer or something you don't have to actually be pressurized to become an influencer you don't have actually be pressurized to have a certain amount of following or something just like i've said earlier on Please grow organically, please grow authentically. Take little steps, it's okay to have that follow it. It takes very long time to pop. I'm not going to be lying to you. I actually got my first collaboration the moment I turned to 100 followers on Instagram. That's very low. I think everybody gets 100 followers on Instagram. So when I got 100 followers on Instagram, I actually got a company called Teen Hats that um, emailed me and they wanted to work with me. And I worked with them at 100 followers. And uh, I think from there I picked up and I've worked with like 10 companies ever since that have actually asked me. Asked me. And then there are actually other companies that actually ask. Now, what you have to actually do after you get the company that asks you or that you're asking to work with as an influencer is you're going to have to make a media kit. Now, in this next screen record, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a media kit or how to get one for free. Thank you very much. Okay, now that you have actually got a brand that you want to collaborate with and you've got someone you actually want with, you're going to have to make a, what we call a media kit. Now, a media kit is something that has all the social media platforms that you can actually have that you're going to use to promote this product that you're going to be given or you're going to use to promote a product that you're going to be paid to promote. Now, um, most people actually do create their own media kits. You can go and create it using, using a PDF or Microsoft Word or be creative with some other platform or app or something like that. But um, I'm so lucky that my Instagram, not my Instagram, but my influencer agency, which is for... It does this for me just for free. So I'm going to log in real quick. Um, log in as influencer. And then my credentials will come and I'll tap login. And um, great, 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 great. It's loading. So um, when, when I'm done logging in, the good thing I love about my Instagram agency, which is for, I'm going to be tagging it down in the description below, is that it actually gives me all this information. I don't have to actually struggle for it. It has the information of when my audience purchase frequency, like do they purchase all the time I post? Do they purchase once a year? Do they purchase four times a year, which is the actual most thing? Do they purchase once a month or never at all? And then it the audience category influence i have lifestyle i have fashion i have skincare i have makeup and photography and then they're actually testimonials right down here and then there are demographs that show uh my my audience gender they male are they female uh, their marital status their parental status do they have kids they have no kids their audience religion the top audience countries and the top audience states and even the audience uh, uh, hmm? what's this called yeah, actually, yeah, that's it. And then also the stats for your different platforms that you actually have. So when I'm going to collaborate to a brand and I'm actually pitching my collaboration to a brand, what I do is actually put a link to all this information, which is up here. This link, I just copy it. I just copy it right here. And um, I link it in the email so that when someone actually link, link clicks on the link and checks it, the, and checks out and checks it out they can actually check out and see all this information about me and see all these testimonials that people are writing about me and see all these demographs and see everything about me right here and this actually helps to justify your place in landing a collaboration with a brand that you actually want to collaborate with okay, now that you have actually your media kit and you actually have another company that you have a media kit is going to comprise of all that information that i've actually been speaking about so um Pitch an email. In that email, I want you to write about what you want to offer to that brand, what you want that brand to offer to you, and what you think that brand will gain out of all this collaboration. And send to as many brands as you can, send to as many people as you can, as you want to collaborate with. And trust me, you're going to be getting at least one brand or two brands that are actually going to be answering you, responding to you, um, telling you they want to work with you. Please never give up. Please continue working very hard as an influencer, as a micro influencer. 
follow your dreams and never give up guys keep going i love you so so much bye